It's the NFL on EA Sports. And if it's in the game, it's in the game. It's the Tennessee Titans and the New England Patriots. And it's all just ahead on Madden NFL 24. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League brings us to Gillette Stadium in Foxborough, Mass. But today, two AFC teams set to do battle. It should be a good one, as it'll be the Tennessee Titans taking on the New England Patriots. Happy to be on hand. I'm Brandon Gordon with Charles Davis. And before we kick, partner, your keys to the game, please. Well, my keys are on the defensive side of the ball for both teams. And the big one, making sure you avoid giving up the big play. These safeties are going to get tested all game long. Their job, keep the ball in front of them, tackle people, make them run extra plays in order to try and score. Team, we're set for football, and we are underway in Foxborough. Out of his end zone, here comes Jalen Rager. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. So now here come the Patriots to take over on offense. And they will be led out by their second-year quarterback. And he's a young man who's always believed in his talents. Didn't have many offers out of high school. Ended up at Houston Baptist and put up monster numbers. Decided to take the next step and go to Western Kentucky. And he did it again. Set NCAA records for passing touchdowns and passing yards in a single season. Now the big jump to the NFL. This guy's like a very skilled point guard. Knows how to deal and put the ball in the proper place with every throw. Well, this defense certainly knows they're going to have their hands full trying to slow down this passing game. Here's an example on the very first play from scrimmage. I think we'll see some different looks, maybe some pressure from different places, but it didn't work there, and it's a quick first down. Zappi. This one to Bourne out on the left side. And he'll be taken down the mile before he works it past the 50. The catch and run there, good for 16 and a first. Pretty good start right off the bat there with throws one and two. He's not locking in on just one target early, is he? Spreading it around a little bit as this game gets started. Back-to-back -back first downs. First carry now for Ramondre Stevenson. And he'll be brought down, it looks like, right at the 40. Now that was an excellent run. And when you see that happen, that's when you're seeing guys doing their job and then some people doing a little bit more. Offensive linemen and tight ends, they're expected to block. But the wide receivers, all they want to do is catch passes. So when they block on a big time running play and create extra space, you've got to hit the jackpot there. Stevenson gets it again on second down. Shrugs him off. And well, he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. That'll be a New England first down, a gain of 12. A couple of nice carries back-to-back -back here, establishing the ground game a bit. Yeah, these aren't bare-bones runs now. I mean, they're getting substantial yardage, the kind of yards you're looking for, right? Let's go ahead and use a cliche. Stay ahead of the change, right? Five, more, five or more yards each time, that's what you're looking for in setting a tone and getting your offensive line going. Good sign on the open ground. And down inside the 15 he goes. Back-to-back -back nice gains. That one for 14 yards and another first. Pretty solid opening drive here, Charles. They worked in the run game, the pass game, just steadily getting yards, and now they've got it inside the red zone here with an opportunity. And the only thing they don't have so far is points. But the way that they're moving the ball now, that shouldn't take much longer. And they've established a great balance so far, running, passing, doing what they want on offense. Now a throw to the end zone on first down, but it winds up incomplete. Well, that play there was certainly a scouting report special because Covered was all too aware that this close to the end zone, 
he's going to become a bigger weapon for that offense. And they were there to help force the incompletion. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. Here's Zappi. He'll be hit and taken down at the 21. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. They'll talk about a rhythm breaker right there. They've been moving the ball well. Drive it started beautifully. That one's going to hurt. A tough spot here after that sack. Zappi and the Pats now face a third and long. They'll drop the throw. And it's knocked away and incomplete. Fourth down now as the Titans defense holds up in coverage. They really had a good drive going there, but a nice recovery by the defense these past few downs. Able to knock that one away on third down and bring up what I think for the offense, an unexpected fourth down here. A 38-yard attempt. And his kick is good. And the Patriots jump out to a 3-0 lead. All in all, a pretty decent opening drive, Charles. Pretty balanced. They had the passing game going and the rushing attack, too. I would think they have to be happy with that start because you get your ground game going, which means your offensive line and your runners are pretty happy. And then you get your aerial attack going as well. So your quarterback and receivers have smiles on their faces. Now both up to speed, awaiting their next possessions for this game. They can't wait to get started again. Back out is the kicker, Ryland, and he'll send this one away. And he'll go down as this drive will start at the 25-yard line. So now the Titans get their first shot on offense. And they will be let out by their rookie quarterback. I tell you what, when he's on schedule for that week, secondaries take notice because you've got to stay alert back there on every snap. A truly powerful arm, one that's capable of challenging any level of the defense on any given play. That's why so many scouts preach arm talent when preparing for the NFL draft. A quarterback with arm strength to make every throw in the book, he's an asset to have in any offense. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Next to receivers, they'll spread the defense out. They were able to come through with a slashing run. But to that point, it's going to be interesting to see the personnel chess match as this one progresses. Yeah, you're exactly right. Can they continue to create running lanes out of passing sets? And if so, it's going to be a long day for the defense. Now a first carry for Derrick Henry. And Henry going to have a Titans first down as he'll get this up past the 35-yard line. They're just four yards on the pickup, but that's good enough to extend the drive. 3-0 after one on EA Sports. Second quarter now, Titans in possession of the football. So from the 36 now, first and 10 as they've got it as we resume action. They keep it with Henry on first down. And strong running there as he's across midfield and down to the 49. That one good for a pickup of 15 for Tennessee. Consecutive plays now where that offensive line has really created a lot of space. And we've seen the confidence rise, haven't we? It borders on arrogance now, and that's that good arrogance, believing you can run the football whenever you get good and ready. be a gain of 16 for number 16. Of course the catch was nice, but how about what happened after? Able to stay on his feet and gain all that additional yardage. So many of these slot guys, I think, have running back in their background. Levis now on first and 10. And he slides and covers up at the end as he's going to be able to pick up decent yardage. The improv on the scramble there gets him six, and it'll be second down. You know what I like about that play? He didn't try to do too much on first down. He took what the defense gave him, put together a solid gain to bring up second and manageable. Now they have a couple of plays to pick up just a few yards and a new set of downs. So after some runs, now they'll throw with Levis. It's complete, Burks. And he'll be brought down inside the 20 at the 19. That one good for seven as this long drive continues and the chains move again. Yeah. 
So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. Second quarter, two minutes remain, 3-0 our score. First and 10, here's Levis. They set up the screen for Henry. And he'll get it here to the 10-yard line. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And that'll leave him with a second and just a few inches left. Partner, normally double coverage is reserved for receivers and tight ends, but this time they actually targeted the running back with it. And it still wasn't enough. He attacked the defense and got in a great position to haul in the catch and get a nice gain out of it. Zone, touchdown, Tennessee. From 10 yards out, and the Titans have taken the lead. There was a lot of zip on that pass, and baseball might have called that a frozen rope. I like it when you bring the diamond into the game. I'm going back to the gridiron. Had some heat on that bad boy. Sometimes you throw a touchdown pass, and sometimes you throw, what, a touchdown strike? There you go. That's my man in concert. Fulk connects on the extra point, and that makes it a 7-3 lead. So that drive goes eight plays, and it ends with a Tennessee score. There's the Titan kick team as they run up and send this one away. And Rager will not return it, so it'll come out to the 25 on the touchback. So back onto the field come the Pats for their second drive. It was still more than a minute to go in the half. Time to try to mount a drive. And I would think that they would have to. This is today's NFL. You got to push it whenever you get an opportunity. You could never have enough points with the high-powered offenses that you face. And analytics will tell you, try and score when given the opportunity. Yeah, and he'll manage to pick up about four. It's second down. Offense. The offense knew it. They were already starting to walk back as that one is accepted. Looking to throw. Zappi. Finding Bourne here over the middle. And he'll be marked down at the 26 with a gain of seven. A gain of seven brings up second down at the 26 yard line. Zappi hurrying them to the line. On second down, it's Stevenson. And able to stay on his feet past the 30 to about the 33-yard line. They need two. Here's third down. Zappi looks to throw it. And that is incomplete. The passing game not in sync here early. And now it's fourth down. Coverage was awfully tight there on third down. They actually closed off all the passing lanes, forcing the incompletion and bringing up fourth down. So on fourth down, here's Bryce Beringer on to punt for the Patriots. will be backed up deep to begin the drive as they take over first and ten. The Titans going to go back on offense here late in this first half. And we'll see how this is played. Offensively, they've got the lead. Not a whole lot of time left. What do you think, Charles? Well, it's tempting to try and add to your lead. But a mistake there 
that could change things in a big way. I say go ahead, take the knee, get on out for the half. Tennessee getting the first down on a big play of 18 yards. That's a nice throw there, and he's obviously feeling pretty good because remember, he had a touchdown pass on the last drive, and here he comes out throwing again, and they wind up getting good yardage and a first down right out of the gate. Now they'll fake the jet sweep and run up the middle with Henry. And he's going to be taken down here as that will lead us to the end of the first half of play. So we've reached halftime here in a four-point game. As we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando, that's where we find Jonathan Coachman ready with our EA Sports halftime report. We were certainly treated to an entertaining first half. Both these teams with some high points and maybe a couple of low points as well. So it's going to be a question of who can be the most disciplined team going forward. Okay, Coach, yeah, adjustments likely going to play a big role in this third quarter in what's been a tight contest so far. The Titans hold the lead and they'll get the football first as the third quarter gets underway. And he'll be brought down right on the chalk of the 20. Out come the Titans now. They'll have it first on offense to start the third. We have not seen much on offense here from either side these last few drives. We've hit a wall, so to speak. And have hit it hard, haven't we? Because the defenses right now, they seem to be a step ahead, don't they? Beating them to the point of attack, beating them to the punch. These offensive guys are tinkering like crazy. What's it going to take to get back on track? Yeah, both sides searching for adjustments. So now they have to contend with second and 13 after the first down run goes backwards. Meanwhile, Levis' throw is on target to Burks. And down he'll go at the 25. A gain of eight there on the play. And it brings up third and five now. Working from the gun, here's Levis. And a throw there going to be incomplete. So good work there on the defensive side for the first drive of the second half. And until their offense can get into rhythm, their defensive players and staff have got to say to themselves, we've got to make it work. We've got to stand in here and make sure nothing else happens until our guys start moving the ball. So they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away. And when it's said and done, it's a 58-yard punt. And the Patriots take over. Now we take a glance at the offense as they work their way back out for their first possession of the second half. And with the way this offense has played thus far, to be frank, they got to feel pretty grateful to be in the ball game. I would agree with you totally because they've done all nothing offensively in this game, yet they still find themselves in a position on this drive where a touchdown can give them the lead. They need to take advantage of it. Yeah, they're still looking for that first touchdown here in the third quarter. All they have so far, the field goal. From the 29, here's second and two. Running left is Stevenson. A solid stick on him. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 43 yards rushing for him now. He's only carried the ball four times. A big hole there. How about him handling the point of attack? Just positioning himself so that run could go right off of his backside and deep into the secondary. They couldn't ask for much more to this point in the second half. A gorgeous day. One score game. First and ten here. And he's across the 45. It'll be second down. Brandon, we just saw the benefits of being able to run the ball successfully. They pick up four yards on that carry. So now if you're a play caller, you can do just about anything you want. But on the defensive side of the ball, you're scrambling a little bit. Now you're behind trying to figure out, do I need to blitz him? Do I need to pressure him? How do I gain an advantage on this snap? And he's up over midfield and down into Tennessee territory. 
Four yards there on the keeper, but still going to bring up a third down. Zappi. He's got his target. That's complete. Well, they need him two. They can only get one. Fourth down. As a defense, you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. The Patriots send out their punter as he's on here to punt it away. And this will carry out of bounds. Where are they going to spot it now? At about the 18-yard line, it looks like. The Titans' offense set to begin the drive. The crowd may be losing just a little bit of the edge after back-to-back -back punts. They want some big plays. They want to see some offense. They want to see somebody break away, whether it's through the air or on the ground. Now it'll be interesting to see where the patience is on both sides. Each head coach. Can you hang in there and not try and force something that could put your team in some jeopardy? Back now in Foxborough. It's the Titans. They've got the football. They'll be looking to extend their lead here as we begin the fourth quarter. Henry again on second down. And brought down, but not before reaching the 45-yard line. That good for 19 and a first down. Well, it is our business to analyze what we saw out there. And on that play, I saw a defense staying in base, not taking a chance, not blitzing in a situation when they absolutely need the football back. That's either a case of overthinking it or not thinking it through. If you do blitz, do you have to be careful about where you're coming from, or are you just coming from all angles? You have to be careful about where you're coming from, obviously, but at this stage, you have to take a few chances as well. No bottle, no fumble. It's out, it's loose. We always hear a lot of veterans on the defensive side of the football. They talk about smelling blood in the water, putting pressure on a rookie. They got to him there to force it free, but couldn't recover it. And you mentioned the pressure. Rookie quarterback, you're going to bring more pressure at him at all times because you don't know how he's going to hold up. He was fortunate there. Luck was on his side, able to recover that fumble. On second down, here's Henry. And brought down, but able to get it to their 30-yard line. Tennessee getting the first down on a big play of 18 yards. I know we're there of wide open football, a lot of spread formations, more space, but there's still a spot for power football. We just saw some of it right there. How about that run? Yeah, breaking the tackle, and you know, late in this game, he wants the football in his hands. He's had a good day. The motion comes too late, and this is going to be a delay. Delay of game, often. So they accept the penalty, of course, and push the offense backwards a bit. Still first down. So a little bit of a stiffer challenge now. First and 15 following the delay of game. After the penalty, it's Henry. Takes this to the 32, maybe the 31. Defensively, they rally quickly after the broken tackle. The recipe's pretty simple, I think, right? Just give your superstar the ball, continue to feed him. Yeah, don't overthink this one, right? Make sure he's touching the football, but you're also counting on his intelligence and in playing the game as well. If it's not there, don't force the run. Just make sure you hang on to the football and keep the clock ticking. So the Titans in possession of the football here as we get your reset. They've got a second down now as they search for a way to get this one to the finish line. They'll run it again with Henry. And he's able to get it to the edge of the red zone at the 20-yard line. And now right out of the two-minute break, we'll get a timeout used defensively with a minute 56 to go. This is a big third down, and you'd have to think we'd see a timeout right away if they can't stop him here. Tenth carry now for Derrick Henry, and he picks up the first down yardage as he takes it down to the 16. 
Now the Patriots will use the second of their timeouts. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. And not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and ten. Henry running right. And the reinforcements come in as they're going to stop him behind the line. The Patriots will take their third and final timeout as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. Henry up the middle. And he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14-yard line. I like it. I like the call. Still an opportunity to run the football and chew up a little more time off the clock. Third and eight. Here's Levis. That's complete. Right around the eight. Well, this is going to depend on the spot, but it's not a very generous one. He looks to be about a yard or so short. So much about offense is what you call hidden yardage. You know, you, you throw the ball to someone, they catch it, and then they can make a big play. You know, they create a play, run after catch. They did a really nice job there of limiting that and keeping them from a first down. Yeah, stopped him in his tracks. They'll run. It's Henry. And he is going to have a Titans first down, and that should just about do it. It's a pickup of two, and that's good enough to just about right a finish to this one. Well, obviously, Charles, this was by no means an offensive track meet. I mean, the defenses were the story in this ball game, but hey, they got enough points to get the job done, and at the end of the day, that's all that matters. You're absolutely right about that, partner. In such a low-scoring game, it completely changes everything you had planned to do out there. Fortunately for them, they got just enough scoring to bring home the win, and in this type of a game, the play of their defense, that became one of their biggest keys. That'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our hardworking crew. 